oh, you kind of oh. become a little bit like the conspiracy yeah. guy. Well, well, but I, it seems like people just want to kind of attack you about it, you know? Like, they want they want to attack me for not trusting criminals. Can you believe that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, they don't want to think with you sometimes. They yeah, want yeah. people. Uh, people attack me because I don't trust criminals. Yeah. That's why they attack me. I don't trust any information coming from a goddamn criminal. Yeah. And if you look at everybody, will agree that the government is corrupt. Yes. Everybody, a hundred percent of everybody, will agree. That the government is corrupt. Yes. And they they're they're involved in criminal activities, right? Yet, yet, like uh, you know, and the government's uh, definitely involved in like people have died because of the corruption in government, right? Everybody yeah. agrees. I mean, there's that, so right? much proof, like yeah. uh, you know, Bay of Pigs, the Everything. Gulf of Tunk. There's so so much yeah. proof. Operation Northwoods, even even like uh, people that like always defend the government, they will acknowledge that yeah. Operation Northwoods was real, where they were planning on uh, so w when you look at the government, the government is if you if you narrow down the government to one person, it would be like uh, would you agree? It'd be like our, the government's kind of like Arturo Gotti, uh, uh, not Arturo Gotti, John Gotti, right? Like a gangster. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, right. So so for me, it's very similar, right? right. So if you, you just I'm trying to simplify it. Mm -hmm. If you just look at like I don't trust anything coming from John Gotti. Yeah, he's murdered motherfuckers. He, he's a, he's a he's a shady gangster. That's that's how I perceive the government to be. So anytime I get information from the government, a government agency, whether it's NASA or whatever, you know, NASA fakes six moon missions, man. I mean, how are you going to believe anything from them? Dude, I met you Buzz know, Aldrin. How, how are you going to believe anything from them? I met Buzz Aldrin and he seemed, no joke, he seemed... Like he hadn't fucking been to the moon, man. Yeah. Of course he hasn't, dude. You know, because I try to like engage him, and this look in his eyes seems so like, yeah, like he was trying to just play a little bit of a yeah. part. So I don't believe anything coming yeah. from, um, you know. Yeah, I've never trusted anything. the government. I don't dude. believe anything, anything. You know, and then they say, well, what about space? I go, all our space information since 1958. That's what, when the NASA was formed in 1958. All our inf and there were, it was formed by Nazis. Werner von Braun, the director of all six fake moon missions, was one of Hitler's right hand men. He was a fucking rocket scientist for Hitler, who was evil as fuck. He directed six moon missions. Masters of Propaganda di di directed right. six moon missions. He'd be the perfect missions. guy. He'd be the yeah. perfect guy to and, do that. And and. When he died, he was like, he, he was on some deathbed confessional type shit. He told his assistant, he said, on his deathbed, according to her, he said, the fake alien invasion is coming. Hmm. Like, the fake alien invasion is what they've been planning. That's what's going to scare everybody into a one world government. It's always been about a one world government and the fake alien invasion, that'll get everybody together. Everybody will volunteer. To, we got to, you know, the aliens are going to kill us. We got to all unite. Yeah. So that's been the plan, the fake. And that's what Warner Von Braun said. And on his tombstone, on his tombstone, it has a, 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 a Psalm, whatever, like Psalm 8. I don't know, like the Bible verses, verses but it's a particular Psalm in the Bible mm -hmm. that talks about the firmament, which is, what what people believe that like that there's, a, us, there's a dome us, there's a yeah. dome firmament we're in an enclosed system mm -hmm. we're in a special place why the fuck would he have that on his tombstone but it doesn't prove anything right there's no proof you but know but just, they they it, have all the they have all the information NASA so when they're when they're telling us that the sun is ninety three million miles away I'm like that that's what they say yeah. Like 93 million miles away, the sun looks 93 fucking million miles away. It doesn't when look you, that far away. No, it doesn't look that far, far it's, away. It's interesting you say that too because, I mean, at the beginning of the year, uh, the White House was releasing that alien footage. Remember we even played... Oh, story? yeah. They're pushing, that. They're, yeah pushing they're pushing it. They'll put it on CNN. They're so, pushing it. Yeah. They're pushing all that. They're pushing... So do you think now, that's the I start to, of it? I used to be a super... A fan of aliens in space i would i would i still i, I threw all the, the the dvds away but i had stacks and stacks me and joe we'd watch space documentaries all the fucking time over and over and over bbc space they're like yeah over and over all the space documentaries you could find i would fucking videotape that shit i was a space junkie and every now and then every now and then i wonder it is kind of weird that a hundred percent of these space documentaries documentaries are all CGI cartoons. None of it's footage from actual like satellites or or anything like that. I thought that was kind of weird, but I'm like, oh, they got it all figured out. And then I continue to watch it. And I continue to watch it. And then 
once I, the, 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 the first distrust of, of the world was when I found out everybody wasn't Catholic because mm-hmm. I grew up in a Catholic neighborhood. Everybody was Catholic. Yeah. Everybody. Then once I realized, and I was an altar boy trying to get to fucking heaven. I go, I'm going to heaven. Oh, I'm yeah. an altar boy fucking going to church. I'm going to heaven. Fuck this place. Oh, yeah, place. first round draft. Then, then when I found out, dude, I would have been totally first round. I, was, I could see that. Late I was hardcore. first round, bro. I'm going to heaven. Late that was the mission. Round, Fuck this life. <laughs> then once I realized that uh, not everybody's Catholic, I go, what's a Jew? Yeah. What's a Muslim? What's Hindu? I'm like, wait a minute. There's hundred. There's millions of people that aren't Catholic out there. They're, then what's going to happen to them? What's yeah, going to happen to all of them? How us? are we right? How do we know we're right. right again? So right away, I'm like, right away, I became an atheist. Like at 12 and 13, mm-hmm. 11, 12, 13. I'm, I'm like, fuck, there's no God. This is all bullshit. Okay, well, so I- that was the first, my first taste of you can't trust authority. My second taste was at 15. At 15, I'm balls deep into Slayer. Mm-hmm. Balls deep into band, speed metal bands that write satanic lyrics. I didn't believe they were satanic. I didn't believe they were satanic at all. I just believe, oh, we're just trying to scare people. I'm writing satanic lyrics. We're just trying to scare people. I don't even believe in God. I'm it's like atheist. Halloween. Kind yeah, of. exactly. It's yeah. Like, like dudes who are into writing movies like The Exorcist. You don't think the director of The Exorcist is satanic. You just think they're writing scary shit. They love that shit. That's, I never looked at Slayer. I'm 15. I'm like, those motherfuckers aren't satanic. Satanic. They're just writing scary shit and it's cool. You know, upside down cross, cool. But then in tw- um, 2020 was a show back in, the, they still Oh yeah, it. I remember 2020. Everybody watched 2020. Back before the internet, they did a special on satanic music and it was all about uh, like uh, old ladies telling, uh, uh, you know, saying that you know if your if your kids are listening to Twisted Sister and Motley Crue, then they and, they're hellbound. And I was thinking, dude, you got the wrong fucking bands. It's yeah. not Twisted Sister. That's not Satanic. That's D. Snyder, know, you right? Wanna, you got to get into uh, Bathory and uh, Creator and Destruction. Acid That's bath. the real. They weren't mentioning any of it. Like yeah. Merciful. What about Acid thing. Bath? You ever heard of them? No. No, they, they were bringing up like Judas Priest and shit. I'm like, yeah. they are. So at that point, I thought, wow, these motherfuckers don't know shit. Don't and this know is shit. ABC. Yeah, they should have been talking about Slayer. Then I would have understood. I'd be like, yeah, 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 because every song's about Satan. Yeah, yeah. I get it. But they didn't talk about that shit. They were talking about like fucking Motley Crue. So what do you then realize? Just what? How out of touch you they can, are, or how much they're trying to control? How just how they're putting their you can't their spin. you can't trust you can't trust the mainstream. I was yeah. already not trusting them. The the speed metal band I was in was called Resistance, yeah. and it was all about not trusting the government you know? okay well then how about this so say if um say if like you know the world that we live in now you know people talk about you know like um the earth is round or that you know or the earth is flat or that we're living in side of somebody else's creation like what why would like why would they say something more powerful than us is c- created this world or controls us that we're living in a controlled environment why would they let us start to think this is what i wonder sometimes why do they let us start to realize it um there there's a or do you think there's big, a glitch in the system no there's a big movement trying to stomp out like flat earth theory like uh <clears throat> like any conspiracy theory that uh, is out there let's say like 911 right 911 mm-hmm. uh for sure was an inside job there's no doubt if you look into it it's no doubt, no doubt. That's an inside fucking job if you actually look into it. Right. So there's um there's uh people being paid to put together debunk videos for nine mm-hmm. eleven. Um, there's websites being made. There's a like documentaries put on like Nat Geo and shit to debunk nine eleven inside uh, was a inside job. Oh, there. to debunk that it was an inside job. Yeah, because yeah. the the people who were responsible for it. Those same people are putting out the information. So it, it, when you when you go to YouTube, for instance, you punch in 911 inside job, you're not going to get any of the really real videos. They got the search engines controlled. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. So the, all the videos that come up are going to be video. Like if people are interested in 911, they're going to go. They, they, just, they're going to go. Ah, that's not real. Because the real shit won't come up for a long time. Yeah. So they got the search engines controlled, right? That's right. smart. Yeah. Easy to do, right? Easy to do. Yes. So any any conspiracy theory, same thing. You like JFK. Even for JFK, go to YouTube, mm-hmm. go JFK, um, uh, a conspiracy. Yeah. And you ain't gonna get no real shit. Not all the shit. The debunking shit comes up first. Right. Right. Same thing. But, and then and wouldn't it be smart too? Wouldn't it be smart for the people that. Um, uh, like for 9-11, for instance, to, to start a website that said 9-11 inside job truth.com. Own that shit. Mm-hmm. 
start talking about and sending people there, but meanwhile, they're gonna, it's a debunker site. Right. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. But and it, it, they'll even have a documentary on, on cable that says, 9-11, was it an inside job? Most people think, or um, a lot of people are now thinking that it's an inside job. Tonight at 11, we're going to investigate it. So it appears to be- Investigate. Yeah, it's right. a, but, but it's, it's not. not. It's not. They get you, and then they, dude. The narrators to 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 those documentaries are they're just like condescending. Oh uh, yeah. You know, real scientists believe this, but the conspiracy theorists they believe this. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Why is it that people who always think outside of the box these days are considered like such alter? You know, like it's just so looked down upon. Like even Kanye the other day was talking about like just different ways of 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 talking about slavery or just different mindset. He's just even speaking on it right and, and sure Kanye is all over the place but it's like if somebody even brings up an idea sometimes immediately it's just shunt like people are dumb as shit man people are dumb as shit even they're, to think they're like, hypnotized yeah what's okay with it? like so somebody says hey think about it this way and people are like no fuck you yeah. but they're not saying that that's the truth they're saying hey just think dude there's a bunch there's a video with a bunch of black celebrities like Ice Cube, uh, 50 Cent, Shaquille O'Neal. There's like five or six of them going, Trump's cool, man. Trump's way cool. Oh, yeah. He ain't racist. We, we hang out with them. That guy's, he's a boss. Yeah. yeah but, but Kanye says it, says it, and they attack him. They lynch him. Well, it's because it's Kanye is so influential. You can let 50 Cent say whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. It doesn't kind of matter at the end of the day. But when Kanye yeah. West starts talking different. Yeah. People, but, people are hypnotized. That's what's going on. People, there, there's mass hypnosis going on. Oh, I'm mass, a victim of a lot. I, I, I can feel it. I can feel myself starting to escape from it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But do you? Why do? Why are we allowed to, as as humans, as thinkers in whatever world this is, in whatever we're living in? Why does say it's controlled by some thing? Why does that thing allow us to start to question? They're not allowing us to question. We're questioning. We're waking up on our own, and they're doing everything to stomp it out. Like flat Earth, you go flat Earth. You go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get nothing but debunker videos. Like, right. why are they making videos debunking flat Earth if it's so stupid? Right. Why are there people making videos and spending a lot of time, full time jobs, debunking what, what what we live on? Yeah. Why are they doing that? How does flat Earth have such legs? How, how does it have legs? It's so dumb. Right. How is it? How is it just? It just keeps growing and growing. People are waking the fuck up. And what are they scared of? That we're gonna break you through. Can't, the... you, you can't. You can't. You um, can't. The the Jesuit goal is a one world order, mm -hmm. one world god. All the secret societies, skull and bones. There's a bunch of them. Freemasons. There's a bunch of yeah. secret societies that all work together. They want a one world government, and the way. Uh, it's going to happen is from a fake alien invasion. Mm -hmm. They're already preparing for it. It's, they're doing it right now. It's Project Blue Beam. That's what they're doing. So I used to be really into aliens, big time. Then I realized, oh shit, they're tricking everybody. They're they're making it. It's, so the alien community, they're going, look, there's all these government programs, Project Blue Book. They're all they're 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 high. They got all these documents where they're investigating UFOs. The government really knows that shit is all done on purpose so it looks like the government's hiding it mm. it looks like right. it is. so it makes you believe it but meanwhile they're not hiding it they created it they created they created it. roswell all that shit's fake that's all fake i used to believe that i used to believe all that shit crash ufos and all that shit that shit ain't real they want you to believe that the government is trying to hide it it's brilliant yes so now i look at that now i look at all the 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 UFO sightings is like that's government shit. Right. They're making yeah, they they're know making, that we're looking for it. So now yeah. they're putting it out there so that they can control so, it. So once the fake alien invasion happens, everybody buys it hook, line, and sinker. We go one world government. And you can't they go, why why are they lying to us about space? You can't have a fake alien invasion without space. Yeah. Right. You have to have space. You have to have, you have to come have, from somewhere. Well, here's yeah, something that gets know? me they, about they space. They have to come from this infinite space. And and when you look at what um <clears throat> you know, people always talk about <clears throat> Uh, you know, even Joe Rogan, like, man, like, like the conspiracy theory is that a long time ago, we used to be really, really smart. We figured out a bunch of shit 30,000 years ago, 100,000 years ago. And then something happened, civilization fell apart, then we had to uh, start over again, right? When mainstream science will tell us that, you know, it's dinosaurs, cavemen, and then slowly we got to the point where, where we're at here and we're at the 
pinnacle of technology. The, the technology has never been as high as it is right now. That's mm -hmm. what the mainstream storyline is. But the conspiracy theory, um, there's one of the conspiracy theories is like they used to be people used to be really smart. Look at the pyramids. We still can't even make a pyramid now. All these people are willing to believe that uh, people used to be way smarter mm -hmm. than we are now. Right? Mm -hmm. If that's true, then they would know what we live on. But you know, they would have a better idea than. Uh, we do. Right. And so back then, like all the ancient cultures, they all believed we lived, the Hindus, everybody, they all believed we lived in an enclosed structure. Like this is a special place mm -hmm. and there's a firmament. It's right. it's in the Bible and people, ah, you, can, you, you know, the Bible don't, ain't, ain't shit, the Bible ain't real, but you know what? I, I'm not a uh, like devout Christian. I'm not a Bible thumper, mm -hmm. but I do believe that there's probably some real shit in there's there. There's some clues in there. There's some real shit in there. Do you think, but why are we, like, if we start, do you worry that if we start to get alert to things and people start to become aware that we're going to be, something's going to happen to us? Like, as individuals that start to become aware, like, do you ever worry about that? Like, the more awake that you get to what's really going on, that, because obviously then we're a hindrance to whatever the overall plan is. For sure. Everyone, you know, everyone's uh, um, susceptible to getting suicided if you have a big enough mouth, for sure. You Do you I mean? feel like that could be, I mean, that, you know. I'm so small time and I'm so crazy. Are you, know, you though? I'm, I'm talking about flat earth and stuff. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, no, I'm so off the radar, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, we did a, we did a podcast for about an hour. We didn't talk about conspiracy theories. I turned down, con I've, I've been approached uh, two different, oh, th now three Three different production companies want me to be a host for some conspiracy, conspiracy theory show. I'm like, fuck that! I don't yeah. want to be no conspiracy theory host. Because you think something could be, do you, but do you think like? Because I'm, I'm thinking if I'm running around and that's part of you know the vibe that I'm carrying with me, yeah. then somebody who has a bigger uh, ability to me and more control could would shut me down like a roach. Maybe that could happen. That could happen, but I'm already shutting myself down. Right. I, I'm not doing conspiracy theory shows. I'm only talking about conspiracy theories on podcasts where, where the host wants to talk about it. Uh, you know, I, um, well, it's I'm, fascinating. Yeah. You know, it's just, it really just comes down to I don't trust, trust criminals. I don't trust them. So when people are fucking making fun of me and calling me an idiot for not trusting, I don't trust any science that I can't verify for myself. Yeah. 